how we can render our chart with the real time data like these two example here with the help of socket.io we will discuss that but after the intro Hi everyone, this is Subrat and you are watching Fun of Heuristics. So on this channel, you will get to know about all the programming languages, all the algorithm and all about the frameworks. So please consider subscribing if you haven't yet. So in today's video, we're going to see by the using of socket.io how we can build this type of charts here. Like, like the donor charts here, it's changing in every two seconds and the, and the bar chart here it's changing in every second so uh, like here it obviously in the production scenario or on the real scenario it will not change in every second or it may change in every second but my intention to say is you can the chart will be changed when the data is emitted from the server so you don't have to do anything in the front end you don't have to call multiple times so when the data will be emitted from the server the chart will update themselves and they will render the real time data so that's our topic today and if you don't know how to render these charts and all by using chart.js i have videos i will link it there you can go and watch them so we are using socket.io as i already mentioned so what is a socket.io socket i mean the web web socket that means think like that you are making a tunnel you're making a pipeline between your client and your server first what will happen your client will send a request to the server to make a connection if that connection established then and think that the pipe is there okay so once something happens in the server the server will push through that pipe and that will come to your client getting that one client will react on the business logic whatever need to be changed there so that's the basic of web socket and you can know more about socket by going deep down how the socket works how you to modify them and how now all but for this this is enough as i already told the web socket need to be present in the server and the client as well so first we need to install the socket in in a in a back end and the front end so first i will go ahead and explain you the back end here okay so if you go to my package.json here so it has uh, main as app.js which is present here and I am using um, some packages a body parser, course, express so all about this body parser, course and express I already explained in my previous video that is how to how to send a mail to a user you can go and watch that one I will link it there you will get to know about that so today the only our only focus will be on socket.io so I installed that one and we are using that socket here and here the server is listening in 3000 port and we have created at IO that is socket and we are giving the server so now the server with enabling socket so for the client will ask a, the server to establish a connection and this is that connection request okay so io.sockets.on the connection so any connection to pass the socket which has a socket ID and here I'm calling a function to do the, all the socket related operation okay so what I'm doing here is I'm emitting the socket data with like alternatively first I'm emitting data 1 then I'm emitting data 2 and with a time interval of 3 seconds and what emit is okay so uh, like I explained that time that when something change here the server will push something the server will emit something to the client by saying that yeah this something change emit the data so whatever is got emitted that will catched by the client and the client can do the operation so here you will emit it will emit to, to the whole client like how many clients are there it will emit to them and that emit data can be captured by the client i will I will explain you that a little after some time. So we'll start the server here. So node mon. So survey started. You can see the request start coming here. Now if you go, it will be changing here. Okay. So in the client, so if if we go to the TS file, we'll see that we are using socket io.client here. Okay. 
so you need to install that one so okay so it is installed in my package.json if you go to here socket.io.client and you guys already know so npm install socket.io dash client space dash dash save will do this work for you and you can use that in your application or oh, so you are importing socket.io client to your application so that you can be used here and we are saying that this io is connected should be connected to localhost 3000 so if you see here our server is running at localhost 3000 so as i explained first the client will make a request to the server to establish a connection so this is the, that one so on starting we are asking a connection to the server and we are waiting for the response like the emit from there like i'm emitting here like data one data those response okay in the um, back end in the node uh, you see i am emitting socket.emit data 1 and socket.emit data 2 so these are the name of the emits and those emits i am catching it here so when data 1 will come i am updating the chart and by the way uh, in chart.js you can update the chart like uh, it's just same if you go to the bar chart here okay so this is the bar chart so what uh, you need to do you need to re reassign these values so it's as simple as that so what I'm doing so initial value is this one I'm just reassigning the value in a in update method okay so if you go down uh, so in the ch update chart what I'm doing is giving the chart the data and the index like uh, which data set need to be changed that for the i have two data set now if you go here i have two data set uh, my data set and my first data set and my second data set so which data set need to be changed so that i'm passing here so chart data and index and that i'm just replacing that data to our current data and i'm running chart.update so it will update the chart with the, all the animation and all the option you provided in the chart so on receiving on the data one socket emit we are updating the chart and giving this chart this chart is nothing but the bar chart and we are giving the response and we are giving the zeroth index and we are in the same request in the data one we are updating the donut chat as well if you can see this donut is is updated in the change of the my data set one this donut is getting changed okay so that's uh, what we are doing here so if you go okay so i'm passing the donut chart so it's not nothing but it, you will just assign this chart so i assign the donut to a variable i'm passing that variable and just giving the index as the donut chart has a five data set i'm returning a array of eight random integers so i'm slash slicing the data here and return uh, passing it to the donut and same it's for data 2 so data 2 i am changing the data set my second data set the, this one my second data set and the data 1 i am changing the first data set okay i will ju just make this as a 500 millisecond i'll save that means server is run now just check how many times is running okay so it's now the data is coming so no change in front end at all okay now we'll go to the back end and again make this as a 10 10 second you'll see that uh, this will the now the speed of the change will be reduced so why i'm showing this by changing the time and all so this is I am making the scenario that when the data will be pushed to the client then the client will execute the logic and the whatever you want to display and what you want to display according to the data you re received this is the application of socket.io with the chart.js you can use socket.io with the various application like you can use socket socket for chart application like same we are doing here we are emitting data uh, from uh, the from the uh, server to client you can in the same way you can emit the data from client to server 
So this is how we are going to use Socket.io for our chat application. The Socket.io application can be used in many places. Just uh, your imagination is the limit there. Okay. And share in the comment what you want to build with this real time data and how what your dashboard should be like. You want to do a pretty dynamic bubble chart and you, you want to do a chart applications. A lot of applications are there. Just give a comment below what you want to build and build that and you can share the link to everyone so that everyone can uh, watch it and everyone can, and can appreciate your work. So that's it for today. Today we saw how we're gonna use the socket.io uh, with our chart.js application and render the data dynamically like this. So please like the video if you like it and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And please share this video among your friend. Please give some valuable comment in the comment section below. We are going to meet in the next video. Till that, stay happy. Bye-bye.